welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how I do my own brow lamination and tint. So brow lamination is like a big hype at the moment, big fluffy brows, soap brows, all that kind of trend is really popular at the moment. Now I've always tinted my own brows. Um, I just learned how to do it and since then I think I've only ever got my brows done once professionally. There's a little spot in my brow there, by the way. And I didn't like it when I had it done, so I just prefer to do them myself because I know exactly how I like them. And this is the result. So if you would like to see how I did my brows like this, then please keep on watching. So things that you're going to need, obviously you're gonna need your eyebrow dye. So I'm gonna be using these. I'm using a mixture of two colors. So I'm using midnight black and dark brown because basically dark brown isn't as dark as I'd want it to be. These are from Julian and then you're also going to need an activator as well so I'm using again the Julian eyelash and brow tint activator so I think I got these from Amazon or eBay or something they're pretty easy to get your hands on and then of course you're going to need your products to lift the brows so I actually got a lash lift kit because I um, did a lash lift on myself a while ago. I googled it and you can use this on your brows It's pretty much the same kind of thing it basically comes with everything that you need to lift your lashes or do a brow lamination um, It comes with the perm the fixation the nutrition and the cleanser And then you've just got the lift pads which are for your eyes obviously because this is an eyelash lift kit um, and then a clean tool which this is actually very helpful in doing your brows. It comes with this little thing and the edges on here are like, I don't know, I can't really explain it. They're kind of like jagged. So it helps when you're actually lifting your eyebrow. You're also gonna need something to obviously shape your brows. I've got some tweezers here, but I actually like to use the little eyebrow razors. I just can't find one anywhere you're also going to need some normal cling film just from the kitchen literally and this is going to be what you put over your brows whilst the products on them um to keep them in place something to put like your tint and dye on and stuff i'm literally just going to use a coaster because these wipe clean you're going to need a little brush so i've just got a small one here um and then last but not least you'll need just like a wipe to clean your brows so I've got makeup on as you can obviously probably tell um, and I tried to avoid my eyebrows. I'm just going to clean them before I um, even do anything. And I would also say if you're going to tint your brow, do not wear fake tan when you're doing it. Um, and also I wouldn't put fake tan on your face after either, even if it's like that night because they will turn ginger. I have way too many experiences of that so don't do that so now i'm looking like a naked mole rat with barely any eyebrows and weird red and white marks around my brows we know we're ready just realized i need another item <laughs> got them i'm gonna first of all go in with the first product which is the perm and um, it's labeled number one so you know what goes on what this stuff stink i'm just gonna just dip my thing in ensure that i coat all my brow hairs here all over my brow this part is really important because obviously you need your brows like to be looking right so you kind of have to work quite quick which i'm working very slow right now this is where you want to take your little thingy thing if you don't have one of these that's absolutely fine a spoolie will work just as good if not better um, but I'm literally brushing my brow hairs upwards and um, this does dry quite quick so you do kind of need to like work quick like that I know it looks absolutely crazy but this is definitely definitely something that you need to trust the process in your brows are going to be in this direction for quite a while however long this perm lasts so you don't want it to be like wrong I mean, I know that when I'm older, I'll probably think, what the hell was that trend? Like, we all just look like werewolves. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how they are right now. So, we're going to lock this in with our cling film. Just want to pop this over your brows. Look absolutely mental. Make sure they're laid how you want them. If it moves around, then obviously 
you can go in and move it back. Um, try and get my thumb now. You just want to leave it like this for 10 to 12 minutes. So, Alexa, set a countdown for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes of me looking mental. We're just going to take this off. I'm just going to be careful with doing it because I don't want to move the brow hairs like too much. Oh, my hair got in there then. Okay, so we're still looking absolutely mental and the makeup is looking absolutely disgusting around my brows. But it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to take... Wow. I'm just going to take a clean um, cotton bud and we're literally just going to try and clean this out of our brows. So I feel like most of that product is out of my brows. You can see now that they are like actually this shape. Like that's not even a joke. So now we're going to go in with our next product and that is number two, which is fixation. And again, get a good amount of on here and we're gonna apply this like so so this is gonna fix the brows in place so the one we just used was to perm them to shape and now this one is actually gonna hold them in place for a longer time period so now we've applied the fixation we're gonna go back in with our cling film and pop it back on our brows like so this time I've literally covered my whole forehead. But yeah, I like that again, looking like a mad woman again. 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa, stop. Sorry if I've just made your go off then time to take this off we can go ahead and take this off with a white i'm gonna go in with a spoolie is it just me or do my brows look like purple <laughs> well they're not it's just like the lighting and because like the red of my actual skin is contrasting because i've got spots on my eyebrows the reason i'm ensuring these are in the right shape is because we're gonna now go ahead and do our tint i'm gonna be using the julian dark brown this stuff is like quite light so i'm just gonna be using some of that and then also some of the black dye obviously get whatever color you want your brows obviously i've got very blonde hair but I like my brows to be dark. Don't hate me. It's just personal preference. It's what I like. You're going to go in with the activator. I just kind of wing it with how many drops I do. But I think you probably need three. Mm, probably about... Oh, that was five. But I probably needed about four. And that's about the colour that I want. You see like this dark brown colour. <laughs> take the dye off i'm happy with those so just remove 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 all of that product mess your makeup up even more gonna go back in with a spoolie and set them how i want them wow i seem to have had a little bit i look like i've got a bit of a reaction but my skin is just I think it doesn't help that I've got makeup on. Um, and then you just want some like scissors. These are just like normal little nail scissors. I'm just gonna literally go along my brows and cut them. <laughs> Keep spooling them. I'm gonna cut these ones slightly, but not like crazily, because I want them to give me a bit more fullness there. My brows have gone really, really red. <laughs> Quite hard to show you because of how red my brows have gone. But that is kind of how I want them. I do want them darker. Mm -mm -mm. Get rid of all those. I'm just going to pop a little bit more 
dye on them and get them a little bit darker. I'm just going to leave this on for a little bit longer. I've always had really, really sparse, thin, small eyebrows. Like, sometimes they literally look non-existent. So this trend has actually really helped me find, like, a way to have thicker, nicer brows. This is definitely a way if you've got a very thin small brows if you've got a decent amount of hair there although it might not look like it like my brows look really thin and like there's not much hair there at all but when you actually brush them up you might be surprised how big you can kind of make them look and when you manipulate them in the right way and put them in the right place on your face then hopefully you'll be able to get a good result ta-da look how good they look if i do say so myself um now we need to get them back up to scratch nutrition wise so we're going to use the nutrition product which is number three um this is basically because obviously we have stripped our brows it's a bit like conditioner for your brows do you know what i mean so i'm just going to take some on a little cotton thing dab this on through my brows because i want them to be healthy brows still i just want to leave that on for a further 10 minutes just to let it really sink into your brows so i've left that product on for 10 minutes and now we're going to be doing number four which is the last step and this one is cleanse just grabbing a cotton pad again applying some product to the cotton pad and just wiping over my brows i'm gonna brush them again how i want them but you can see they're starting to actually just sit where they're supposed to sit like even that one before i brushed it like that and now i'm just gonna go and sort my makeup out and i will be back so this is the finished brow you can see they just look much more full and fluffy so yeah i'm really happy with them let me show you a close-up <laughs> this video i hope it helped you guys out um i know it's quite a scary thing to do i do think that the end process works out really well and um, they also kind of calm down after a day or so because they're quite red at the moment um the color will also dim down a little bit but yeah i know that brow lamination can cost quite a lot of money hence why i just wanted to try it out myself so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.